guys, welcome back. We're doing another Trader Joe's haul. Today our total was 374.38. <laughs> okay, I got a lot of stuff, so let me unpack and show you what I got. I'm also gonna do a few reviews too as we go along, because you girl's hungry. All right, let's start with the cutest stuff first, the flowers. They did sell tulips in bunches of 10 or 20. I bought 20 and then, <laughs> And then I remembered that uh, they're poisonous to cats, so these will not be staying here. I also picked up some bright orange roses, which would have looked really cute. You see where I was going with this? And then some baby's breath. These I think are three bucks each, and the roses are like 10, so I spent probably more than I needed to on flowers, but I really like having pretty flowers, but again, these ones can't stay. The roses can stay though. <laughs> We're gonna start with the freezer stuff. Now, there's some things that I pick up all the time. One of them being these mini French baguettes. There's six baguettes in here. And I told you guys last time, they're about this big and they're about that wide. The woman at the checkout, you guys told me that they have to talk about the products when they're checking you out. Um, so the woman at the checkout was talking about these and she was talking about how she puts them in her toaster oven. We put them in our air fryer and they only take like four or five minutes. And they're the perfect crusty little French baguette. Every single time, hits every time, doesn't have to be thawed. We like to keep the overflow freezer stocked with these. They do have some other smaller rolls too. I was tempted to try them, but like why mess with a good thing? And speaking of a good thing, the beef shepherd's pie. This has gravy, vegetables, creamy mashed potatoes. I freaking love these things. They're better than like lean cuisines and healthy choices. Like if you're someone who just needs a freezer meal one day, but you want it to be like hearty and warm and delicious, the beef shepherd's pie. Now, do you need to season it? Yeah, you need to season it, but it takes like five, seven minutes in the microwave. It is so good. It is so filling. It's really, what? Um, it says there's two servings. I eat the whole thing and it ends up being 340 calories. It has a ton of protein, like 30 something protein. And it's just super good. It's just a bunch of vegetables and beef. The beef is good. The beef is good. The mashed potatoes are good. But like I said, season it and then it's delicious. My kids were out of freezer breakfast stuff and I had to talk myself out of getting the croissants, like the filled ones. Oh, they look so good, but they don't need that in the morning. I picked up the silver dollar pancakes, which are always a favorite with them. We've never had these waffles, I don't think, but they normally, I just buy like Eggo waffles and I'm not going to the regular grocery store. Like this is it for the next 10 days or so, minus um, buying more produce and probably some milk and creamer and maybe some iced coffee. But beyond that, we will be working off of this for a minute. So um, I just picked up these waffles. I've never tried them. I've heard the Blueberry ones are super good though. And then as a fun little treat, I also picked up the four pack of the Belgian waffles and these ones I know are good and they're like lighter and airier and crispier and they're just, they're, they're a nice little upgrade to your regular waffle. But there's only four in here, so that's not enough. I was so excited to see that the uncured turkey corn dogs were back. My son really likes these. He likes corn dogs and he likes like little, like the little bagel dogs. He likes those things a lot too. So we got these a lot last summer and I'm so glad they're finally back because he always asked me to get them. And whenever they bring back the truffle ketchup, so good with that ketchup. I didn't see it today, but I'm sure it'll be back sometime this summer probably. We make a lot of smoothies and stuff, so I picked up some frozen peaches. I love these pitted dark cherries. They're so good, and I had fresh cherries that I took the pit out of, and I froze them, and they were disgusting when I put them in my smoothies. Like, they ruined my smoothie. I choked it down, but it ruined it, and these ones are so good, so I'm like never doing that again. I would just go back to Trader Joe's and get these. And then the mango chunks, of course. These are not the organic ones, but my son will just sit there and eat these. Like he lets them thaw a little bit and then he'll just, he'll max. So I'm not mad at it because they don't go bad the way regular fruit does. I mean, we do our best with eating the fruit before it goes bad, but you know, every now and again, girl, it gets, it gets away from you. It gets away from me. And then for veggies, I really didn't get a ton because I do have some frozen veggies, but I especially like to eat fresh veggies when I can. But this mushroom melody is so good. Melody? No, mushroom medley <laughs> is so good. And it's just different kinds of mushrooms, a bunch of different kinds of mushrooms. And then it has olive oil and sunflower seed oil. And it's, it's seasoned, so it actually tastes really good. It's really good with rice or to add to a stir fry or whatever. It's just a nice addition. The organic super sweet cut corn. This is just really good, tasty corn. Uh, I make it on the side of dinner all the time. It usually lasts us like two to three solid dinners. Or for me, if I'm just the only one eating it, it'll be a good five or six dinners. 
And then I picked up the mushroom risotto. I love their risottos. I love risotto, period, but it is a labor of love, you know, because you have to be constantly stirring to incorporate the liquid. And it's like a 45, 50 to an hour process, depending on how complicated the recipe is. This ain't that, but this is good enough. So I, I like the mushroom risotto. They also have an asparagus one if you're not a fan of mushrooms. Picked up the pork pot stickers. I will make this as a whole meal. Usually you put like um, a frozen edamame situation on the side of it. Sometimes I'll do like boiled, soft boiled eggs, something like that on the side as well. And it's just like a really good kind of Asian inspired dinner. And it, it, they're fire, they are so good. I like the chicken ones as well, but my daughter only eats the pork ones. So I make these for the kids. So, you know, I get the pork ones for the kids. And I really like the chicken cilantro ones, which are really little. They don't look like the same package, but they are so good. Those are fire and they're just, they're very, I don't know, like nutritionally friendly. If you're trying to eat in a certain way, those ones are, real good i picked up two stir fries this is the shrimp stir fry this one i really like because it really is just like shrimp and vegetables and that's it basically and if i'm not mistaken the shrimp is separate from the vegetables and then there is like a seasoning packet in here which i think is nice just in case you want to do your own seasoning or you don't or you want to cook the shrimp with it or you don't whatever same thing goes with this one. This is the shiitake mushroom chicken. This one, it's like the chicken is in its own bag, vegetables are in their own bag, and then the teriyaki is in its own bag. And I like that because every now and again, I'll just make the chicken or I'll just make the vegetables. And this is one of the chickens that I actually like. A lot of the Trader Joe's frozen chicken, I think tastes kind of off. It's, it's funky. The chicken in the chicken fried rice, I think that one, that chicken is, I don't know what the hell that is. It's not even like fake chicken. Like I can get with some, you know, C-H-I-K apostrophe N chicken when I need to, but that don't even taste like that kind of chicken. That tastes like a different animal. I don't know. It's not good though. But if you like it, you know, different strokes. Then we have the raw Argentinian red shrimp and this is raw, right? Normally your shrimp turns pink or red or whatever when you cook it, but this is so fire. I love these. We do like a nice garlic butter situation and a little lemon juice and the kids love it and it's super easy to make like, this becomes a main dish and then whatever vegetable I have, I have and that's what the kids get. And me, I've been eating this a lot too. This is really good. Now these chicken soup dumplings I think are so good. I think the pork ones are so good. They come in a little tray and there's six of them on there. You throw them in the microwave for like two minutes, easy peasy lemon squeezy. They're super duper good. I mean, for what they are, you know what I mean? Like if you go to an actual restaurant, it's probably gonna be better. But I think for microwavable soup dumplings, these are pretty good. And I saw somebody putting the crunchy chili oil on top. Or was it the, maybe it was like a crunchy garlic or a crunchy onion, whatever. They were putting it on top and I was like, oh, that's looking like lunch for me today, girl. <laughs> Last two frozen things I got was one, this okie dokie oat frozen like ice cream situation. And it says that it's a New Zealand inspired dessert with caramel swirls and sponge candy bits. That's interesting. I don't really junk with ice cream. It's not really my thing. I don't like for my teeth to feel cold. It's not for me, but my kids, one of them, mm, their stomach does not like lactose. This looks like it's gonna be pretty tasty. Let me know if you guys have tried any of this stuff because sometimes y'all be having tips on how you should eat it and that does make a big difference. The last freezer thing I got was the instant boba kit. This is a brown sugar boba kit. Um, I think I told you guys before, I like to get them from the Asian market when possible because they have way more flavors, they're cheaper. I like them a lot better, but I do get them from other grocery stores sometimes and they're just not as good. So it's like the Asian market and then the one from Trader Joe's and then like the other ones. Like I'm not a big fan of them. Um, well, not me, I don't drink these. My kids drink them though and they said that the other ones just don't cook up as well, whatever. So got some brown sugar boba kits for the kids. I usually let them have one on the weekend. Look, I have some. This is the one that my kids really don't like. They don't like how it cooks and this is what I get from the other grocery stores. Just, just FYI. Okay, let's run through the refrigerated stuff so I can get that put away as well. I got two packs of these like ready to eat edamames. These you put in the fridge and they're so good. I mean, they're like perfect for just having on hand. They taste better than the freezer ones, but they do go bad quicker obviously since you keep them in the fridge, but totally worth it. The kids love them, I love them, Lewis loves them. A favorite in this household. Then we got some celery, some lettuce, some baby wild arugula. Because I got that glaze. That glaze is so damn good, it's right here. Remember I got it last time during our last haul. It is so good. And I put like a little bit of goat cheese, some prosciutto, some arugula on a piece of toast, girl. With the glaze on top, girl, get out of here, it's so good. I got some green grapes, we love them. They're our favorite fruit to keep in the house. We usually buy them three times a week and these ones are not the best, but they, you know, they'll do in a pinch. The sangria tomatoes, those little teeny, teeny, 
Tiny Tomatoes, remember? Those are so good, but they don't have them, so they, they didn't have them today. And then I got our colorful carrots again. Like I said, I think these taste better than regular carrots, but the purple ones taste worse than regular carrots. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just how it is. I did get two packs of ground beef. I hate that it's so much more for the one that has less fat in it, but I get it. Cause it's like a higher, is it a higher quality though? I don't know, but I hate that it's like two or three dollars more to get the one that's 90-10 versus the one that's like 80-20 or even 85-15 I think the other one is. It's annoying. But we got some, we got some beef. Normally I order from Butcher Box, but I haven't done it lately, so. I had to re-up. I just realized I really didn't buy much meat. I bought this smoked sockeye salmon. My boyfriend had bought it for me one day randomly and I was like, dang, that was so good. So I went ahead and purchased it myself this time and it is really good. Sometimes I just throw it in with some eggs in the morning. Other times I just eat it, you know, cold straight out, straight out the package. I put it on a plate and I'll eat it with like a little cracker or something. It's good though. Some of their prepackaged salmon is not good. Like the everything but the bagel one, pass. A million times, pass. They had the teeny tiny cukes, which are just little teeny tiny cucumbers. I just wash them, throw them in the fridge, and then when I open the fridge looking for something to eat, I just pop one or two in my mouth, and they're so good. I love them. I also bought the baby corn. I personally love baby corn. There's nothing spectacular about this pack. It's just fresher than the kind that, you know, comes in the can. Not that it tastes any better or worse though. Oh, the baby, she's being sad. Who wants to go outside? She's a baddie. I was trying to escape when I go outside. She's a baddie. Now for Christmas, my parents, bless their hearts, they bought me the Uni or Una, I don't know. The pizza oven though, the one that goes like outside and you connect it to gas or whatever. And they bought that for me and I thought that was so freaking nice, but it's been obviously very cold because it's the winter time and I haven't been able to use it, but it's feeling like fake spring number two is coming through this week. And you know, we get three fake springs before spring springs and um, I'm excited for it. So I wanna be ready with pizza stuff. I don't feel like making doughs. So I picked up our favorite pizza dough from Trader Joe's. This is the one that has the garlic and herb in it, but they also have the plain one. But I picked up two of these, cause we're gonna test out our new pizza oven, probably burn everything. But I'm still excited. If you guys have one, let me know. I'm sure I need some tips and tricks. I'm positive I need some tips and tricks. I actually have some Italian sausage that I cooked up like two days ago. We haven't finished it, so I'm actually just gonna freeze it, and then I'm gonna thaw it and throw it on the pizza when we use the pizza. So I'm a big fan of freezing things if I know we're not gonna finish it in time, like before it goes bad, I'm a big fan of freezing. I freeze everything. I freeze a lot of cheese as well. So I picked up the light Mexican blend, and I have way too much of the light mozzarella right now, so I didn't buy any more of that. And then I bought the cheese blend. I'm sure you've seen this one before. It's so good though. It has Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and a mild provolone cheese. This is really good for pizzas, but they also have a pizza cheese blend if you want to be even more straight to the point with your pizzas. So this is the pizza seasoned light blend. And this one is Toscano cheese, and you know, supposedly it's like the best for pizza. I've had it before. I don't remember it being amazing, but I made pizzas for the kids, so I probably wasn't really paying attention. I also got a fresh mozzarella cheese log, and I like this one because it's pre-sliced, so I plan on making some, you know, bougier pizza for myself, girl. I love fresh mozzarella on my pizza, or on my meatballs. So good, so good. I got the pizza sauce as well. I don't think there's anything spectacular about this pizza sauce, but it was there, it was handy, so I bought it. I do think there's something special about these pepperonis though. They're so good. They're the chow pepperonis. I don't know, normally we do turkey pepperonis, but this is our exception. I always buy these when I go to Trader Joe's. I should have bought two and thrown one in the freezer because my daughter likes to eat them from frozen and she takes them for lunch like every single day. This I bought on a whim. I never saw anybody talk about it, but these are the turkey breast tenderloins and you can enjoy them cold or hot. They're seasoned and fully cooked so they come in this like vacuum packed kind of you know situation this I'm gonna throw into the fridge I'm excited for that that's like a nice little quick thing I can add to my food when I don't feel like making chicken you know and I don't want frozen chicken picked up the mini brie bites because of course we did there's like five or six in here we throw these in the air fryer for like three or four minutes the kids max these things and I even have them eating them cold now like like little baby bells but instead it's little baby breeze we got some strawberries and some blackberries. I picked up the hearty minestrone soup again. I do like it, but I feel like you have to season it quite a bit, but it's like a really good, just, you know, like an easy lunch and I will eat the whole thing. Every now and again, I'll have crackers on the side, my favorite crackers. 
These are my absolute diehard favorite forever forever favorite crackers. The original savory thin mini crackers. I like the bigger ones too, but I prefer these just because they're already small. They are so good. I think they're a rice, yeah, a rice flour, sesame seed, sunflower oil, soy, whatever. They're so good. They're so good. I've never had a cracker like that from anywhere else. The jicama wraps again, more than likely I will just make these into little tacos, probably with that smoked salmon on it and something, I don't know. Last time I was mixing stuff with a miso paste, it was fire. I love jicama, normally we just do it with like lime, valentina, a little salt, something like that, but you know, it's, it's fun to make it into a little taco. Then I bought a pack of eggs for $7,000. Just kidding. Picked up a couple of Pink Lady Apple kombuchas. This is my favorite flavor of kombucha. So good. Got a bag of mini avocados because I just love them. They're the perfect size, so nothing has to like go brown in the fridge. A bag of apples. I love these too because they're teeny tiny. I don't know if you can tell, but like these, this is a baby size apple. I like these oranges because they're somewhere between like a cutie and then like an actual normal size orange. It's like that middle ground. It's perfect. Indiolas, Easy Peel, Tangelo, Tangelo. I don't know, girl. One of you is gonna crush me. And then I got some bananas. Dude, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna box, I'm gonna max on these bananas. You guys want um, a review of their bananas? I saw a girl's video this morning where she was like, she was like, I'm gonna open this banana, you know, and, and act like an influencer, basically, like how we would be opening things. Stop. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna link this down below. Oh my god. If you haven't tried this yet, oh. Okay, I'm not gonna link it, but damn, this banana hits. My last fridge thing was shiitake mushrooms. I forgot to show you these. These are so good though. I feel like I, I really like their shiitake mushrooms. Got that all put away. <sighs> okay, now we have like the shelf stable pantry items. These are my favorite. They're so tasty every damn time. I love them. I've never tried this. It's the organic lemon pasta. So I assume it's gonna have some kind of a little bit of lemony taste. It says it's made with organic lemon oil. There's turmeric in here, semolina. I'm excited for this. This just looks like a good time. And I feel like overall Trader Joe's has great pasta. Then we picked up the Thai wheat noodles again. I really like these. There's three packs in here and my son's really been liking them too. I like them because they're so quick and easy to make. I use the organic sesame oil to cook them and then we just kind of doctor them up, add like for him especially like onions and whatever little veggies, he really, he loves, that boy loves onions, raw onions, cooked onions, it don't matter, he loves onions. Then I normally do soft boiled eggs and I'll do the ones that have been soaking with like the miso paste, the soy sauce, the truffle soy sauce, we are officially out of it. That stuff was good, I did not repurchase it though because it is so, so, so strong, it's overpowering and I just, I couldn't handle it girl, I couldn't handle it. But it was good enough to finish. But that truffle soy sauce does taste really good with these Thai wheat noodles. I picked up a pack of butter croissants, my son's favorite, but those are so, so, so good. I wish they were a little smaller, but the ones that are much smaller, I feel like they're drier and I don't like that. Now we got the focaccia bread, baby. This one has caramelized onions and cheese in it. And I've tried the other one, we thought that was good, but this just looks so moist and delicious. Like, oh, I just wanna eat it, I just wanna eat it right now. This would be really good with a soup or just with whatever. It's bread, girl, it's just like tasty bread. I don't gotta sell you on bread, come on. I love bread. Okay, Oprah. We got the little rolled corn tortilla chips. These are like the little knockoff Takis, but my daughter really likes them, so I buy these for her. These little peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. I like them because they're so small. I have to put them into a little container or I will just eat them nonstop. My cat's playing in the sun. <laughs> I love cats in the sun. It's my favorite thing. And we tried this last time, the cinnamon roll drizzle granola. This is actually so, so good. It does add a nice little sweetness factor, especially if you're eating like a plain Greek yogurt. This is definitely gonna, you know, give it a little something. These I saw online and I had to get them because the kids do like the ones with the jelly, so the PB and J's, but these are the PB and C's. And I guess the C stands for a crispy cocoa cream filled wafer peanut butter dip. So this one you're dipping in peanut butter versus normally you have the peanut butter wafer and you're dipping it in the jelly. I thought this looked like a good time though, so I got this for the kids to take to school. I got two cans of fat-free refried beans, cause I just love beans, girl. All day, every day. I be eating beans. This is a frijole household, okay? Mostly just me, but I do love me some beans. And then I got some taco seasoning mix. I don't normally use taco seasoning mixes, but I started using them probably just a couple of months ago on, you know, whatever kind of meat, turkey, chicken, beef, whatever. And the kids just really seem to enjoy it. So, you know, I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> whatever dinners I can make that do not involve any fussing, 
like I'm gonna do it. So I thought I'd try this one out, I haven't tried it yet. And then sticking the seasonings, I picked up more onion salt because it is just my absolute favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is so good. And then I picked up this salmon rub. I've seen it before. It says brown sugar, smoked paprika, salt, black pepper, rice concentrate, and dried thyme. And I have a big old bag of salmon in my freezer that I just need to like make myself eat. I love salmon, but I don't like it frozen. I don't really like frozen salmon. Like I don't like making it. So maybe this will entice me to make it a little bit more. And then I picked up these little tiny baby pickles. These are the Cornishans. Is that how you say it? So this got me thinking though, because um, normally little tiny pickles tend to be sweet. These ones should should be a, hopefully this one is uh, like a dill, which I think it, it yeah, yeah, because it says that it pairs well with cheese. I did an Aldi charcuterie board. I took you guys to Aldi with me, like in a reel and TikTok, and it's on YouTube shorts potentially as well, I'm not sure. But for sure it was on TikTok and Instagram, and I did, charcuterie boards from Aldi, but I took you shopping with me beforehand. If you guys would like to see that, but from Trader Joe's to see what kind of boards and stuff you could put together, or it doesn't even have to be boards because I'm hosting my book club in two weeks and book club is when I get to shine. I get to try out different appetizers. I get to try out different menu items, whatever. And I get to try out a bunch of different stuff and have people come over and eat it. And I love it. But I don't, I've don't. i never filmed a YouTube video of me showing you the foods that I make or the process or whatever. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. If not, that's totally okay too. But it's good to know what not to waste my time doing. <laughs> but I say all that to say that I bought these potentially to use on board. Because they always go over very well. People love pickles. Speaking of people loving pickles, we got the peanuts um, in a pickle. So these are supposed to be dill pickle, dill pickle flavored peanuts. Let's go ahead and open these. I'm not a huge dill pickle flavored person. I do like pickles. These look funny. They look dry. Let me check these out. This bag doesn't even smell like pickles. If you're looking for like a smack in the face pickle flavor, this is not it. It's very, very, very subtle. You're definitely getting peanut, 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 and then you're getting a little bit of dill pickle at the end. Maybe if you have that dill pickle seasoning from Trader Joe's, you could add some of that in here, girl, because whatever they were trying to hit, they did not. If you hadn't told me that these were supposed to be dill pickle flavored, I would never have guessed it. Sad face. Sticking with the nuts, we got Dry roasted and salted macadamia nuts. Why are macadamia nuts so expensive? These are $10 for a bag. $10? What are you, nuts? They're expensive because they're so good. <laughs> macadamia nuts are so good. Then I got the roasted and salted truffle marcona almonds. Yeah. I've never had these. These ones I think were like 6 or $7. There's just not a lot in here for that much money. But I know nuts are expensive. And there's that truffle flavor. Right to the face. Just by the quick sniff, I would have known this was truffle flavored almonds. Oh yeah. This is a truffle flavored almond. No one is gonna mistake this flavor for anything else. This is a peanut that comes in a green bag. Got the cacio a pepe uh, pasta sauce. This stuff is so freaking good. It's got pecorino, romano cheese, and black pepper. It's so good it's so tasty like it's good girl I just I like it my daughter loves it I love that and then this I've never seen before but it's the aioli garlic mustard sauce normally I love aioli but it's typically like a mayonnaise right so it's pretty high in fat and calories and all that kind of stuff and so I try not to have it too often really because I want to slather it on my wraps I want to slather it on my sandwiches whatever and so I like things that are mustard based because mustard is not very high in fat and calories and everything else so normally I tend to kind of gravitate towards things like this and when I saw this I was like that sounds fire as a matter of fact let's just try it it definitely has a mustard smell all right I'm just gonna dip one of our little teeny tiny cukes into it which I would not normally do that's I don't normally eat cucumbers and mustard but can be used with cold meats and seafood or as a vegetable spread or dip that's pretty good. I wonder if this has horseradish in it because it kind of has that. It doesn't. It has that spiciness that like a Dijon would have. Um, that's pretty good. If you like mustard, this is, a, this is a fun time. I got this in the fridge now. The last jar thing I got was this olive and basil pesto sauce and it looked really good. Dang, a quarter cup is 210 calories. That must mean, yeah, it's super, super, super 
um, full of oil, which I'm sure it's going to be very, very tasty. You probably don't need very much. The number one ingredient is green olives. So if you don't like green olives, steer clear. Picked up this like sparkling berry lemonade. I like to get drinks like this for the kids sometimes. And you know, especially when I'm having people over, it's really nice to have something a little bit special for them. I do a lot of non-alcoholic champagnes for them now. And I just mix it with like orange juice or, you know, with whatever. Period. Block and never have to deal with them. Period. I was talking about how I gotta block people because they don't know how to act. And then as much as I love my nut, nut pods, barista oat milk, I have to order it off of Thrive Market. So I bought this blueberry lavender one. It's an almond milk, but it's a shell stable almond milk, which I really like. Lavender tastes so good in coffee. If you've never had like a honey lavender coffee, I highly recommend it. Literally just add honey to, you know, whatever your normal coffee routine is. Use this milk, add honey. Oh, it's so good, girl. I promise it's so good. Froth it up. Make it cold, make it hot. Now I just talk myself into an iced coffee. I got more of the cinnamon dragons. These things are so good. If you like a cinnamon flavored candy, like Red Hots or something like that, but you want it to be more gummy, these do kind of stick to your teeth a little bit, but they are so good. Like I cannot quit them. I only buy one bag on purpose, okay? I don't need that. I don't need that pressure in my life. <laughs> these I saw at the checkout and they say they're uh, ruby cacao figs. Chocolate truffle filled figs covered in ruby cacao. I never seen these and they look really fancy. I was like, oh, fans? Fancy Nancy up in here. Cute, so they're like individually packaged. There's four of them in there. Let's try one out. Look, it looks like a little chocolate covered cherry kind of, right? I guess this is like a chocolate covered fig. I cannot wait for Trader Joe's to bring them figs back, man. My freaking book club menus are so good when figs are a star of the show. I wasn't expecting the fig to be so chewy, but I feel like I should have known that because a dried out fig like this is going to be chewy. They're good. They taste like raspberry and I don't see the word raspberry on here anywhere. So I guess that must just be the flavor of the fig. <laughs> oh, it also says they have a hint of like brandy. Okay, I feel like I'm getting that. They're not bad, but I wouldn't buy them again. This I bought on a whim. It said it's back and I was like, oh, okay, I got to try it then. So the blood orange cake mix with icing. I think I'm gonna make this maybe today or tomorrow. Maybe I should film like a little TikTok or reel of me making You let me know if you wanna see that. If you're interested in little shorts like that. Last but not least, I got the all butter shortbread sandwich cookies. Have you guys been seeing these all over your timeline or is that just me? They have a raspberry filling. Let's go ahead and try it. The kids are at school, otherwise they would probably be trying these instead of me. So they come in a roll. Oh. Oh, they're soft. Like a nice soft shortbread cookie. They're like crunchy, but not like crunch crunch, more like a, just like a subtle kind of crunch. These are good. They really taste like raspberry, not like that fake raspberry. Like, listen, side note, that was the last thing, okay? If you wanna leave, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. My daughter sells Girl Scout cookies. I'll put the link down below if you guys are in the US and you don't have anybody near you. You can order from her troop through that link, but they released a new cookie this year and it was like a raspberry cookie and it looks just like a Thin Mint. It's, it's just like a Thin Mint, but it's raspberry flavored instead of mint. And it is one of the nastiest cookies ever. Like it is so artificial. The raspberry is like in your face. Like it's like a mouthful of extract. I thought it was so nasty. This is nothing like that. This is what that cookie should have tasted like. And this is their first year doing that cookie. So I'm very curious what the feedback is gonna be because obviously I, you just heard my feedback. <laughs> I thought it was nasty. I don't recommend it. And I don't even think you can order it online because I think it has to be local delivery. But um, I'll, like I said, I'll leave that link. But these are these are good. If you like a raspberry cookie, like where you actually get that flavor and it tastes like real raspberry like spread or jelly or whatever, as opposed to like that super fake extracty kind of flavor, this one's really good. You can tell this was made with like actual raspberries and it's listed right there. It was made with raspberries. That's good. That's real good. And honestly, I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's everything I got at Trader Joe's today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see those reels and stuff or if you guys even watch videos like that. Otherwise, I can always do them here on YouTube. It's just a lot of people don't got the patience for YouTube videos these days, and I do. <laughs> Some of y'all clearly do, but a lot of people don't. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.